Time to haul this stuff to the local dump. Good thing I have a trailer to... Oh. Hey everyone, this is part two of the Harbor Freight trailer rebuild. In the previous video, I disassembled it and cleaned up the frame pieces. I also refurbished the axle and suspension. During the process, I also lowered the suspension and removed a leaf from each spring. In this video, I'm going to stretch the frame and build a new deck. Okay, let's start with the frame. Like I mentioned before, I want to stretch it about two feet. I got some square tubing at a local metal supplier. It's two inches square and eight feet long. This two inch tubing fits perfectly into the frame rails. But you can see in this close up, it's wider than the frame rail. So I'm going to cut it flush with the rail. To do that, I'll just clamp a frame rail to the piece of tubing and use the rail as a guide for the angle grinder. The next step is to cut the steel to size. I'm going to extend the frame by 24 inches, so I'll cut the pieces 30 inches long. That will give a 3 inch overlap on each end. Next we need to cut the frame rails. On the frame rails you can see the mounting holes for the suspension, here and here. I decided to cut the frame halfway between those mounting holes. If you measure from the back of the frame rail, it's 19 and 5 eighths of an inch. I test fitted the pieces together just to make sure everything is good. Plus it gives you an idea how everything fits together. Before I weld the pieces together I need to clean off the areas that will be welded. The steel tubing has mill scale on the surface that needs to be removed. Plus the frame rails have some paint that needs to be removed. Last but not least, I'll clean up the burrs and sharp edges with a file. Okay, time to fire up the welder. I'll put some tack welds on there first to hold things in place. Then I'll fully weld them. I'm using some old brake rotors to hold the pieces in place. Off camera, I had a heck of a time getting those welds done. I'm not very good at welding to begin with, but the equipment was fighting with me as well. The end result is some pretty ugly welds. Like the saying goes, grinder and paint make the welder I ain't. Anyway, I put a coat of etching primer on the fresh metal to help prevent rust. I'll paint everything after the frame is assembled. Speaking of which, let's start assembling it.
now that it's assembled, let's put on a fresh coat of paint. I let the paint dry for a couple days. I stretched the frame in the area between the suspension mounts. Now the mounting holes are too far apart. So I'll have to drill new mounting holes. I found the center point between the old mounting holes and used it as the center point for the new ones. That should help maintain the trailer's weight balance. At this point I decided to start building the deck. The trailer is 6 feet long so I got 12 foot long decking planks and cut them in half. Actually they were a little bit too long so I had to cut a little bit off the end. Next I cut some 1x4 lumber for the cross braces. Okay, let's build the deck. First I'll put the 1x4 cross braces on top of the cross beams in the frame. Then I'll lay the decking planks on top and attach them with screws. I only needed 7 planks. I placed the middle one first and made sure it was centered. Then I added a plank on either side, screwed them down, and so on until the deck was complete. I think this is a good place to end the video. It's getting pretty long and the project is taking longer than expected. So unfortunately we'll have to make it a three part series. In the next video I'll attach the deck to the frame, reassemble the trailer, and do the wiring. See you next time.